nothing is the same. Mass dismissals, infection risks, demonstration prohibition, everything is the same. Workers are worst affected by this economic crisis. For 40 years we've gathered here, but today is the 1st of May 2020. Our movement for democratic union organizing is more important than ever. We don't fill any streets today, but the struggle for better conditions happen every day in the workplaces. We spend half of our wake lives at work, and how we spend this time determine many aspects of our lives, not only individually, but also for the whole of society. Do we work with such bad protection gear that we risk our lives and health? Do we work for so little that we can't afford proper housing or to buy the products that we produce ourselves? Is the work that we do a gain or a loss to society at large? Workplace struggle is about much more than wages and work hours. It's about democracy of society, about who has the legitimate power to decide. The unrestricted power of kings and dictators over everybody else has long been deemed illegitimate by history. The power of single persons over many we have rejected together. Instead we celebrate democracy as the only legitimate power. But how does this look in the workplace? How does the industry work? Except for the fact that the few who own decide over the many who work, the real power is found in the annual meetings of shareholders. In these meetings, everybody who owns have a right to vote, depending on how much they own. Those who own the most decide the most, regardless if they've ever visited the workplace or even been in its city. Capitalism is older than the welfare society. It is older than the idea of human rights. It isn't primarily about trading between equal partners. It is about to own or not to own. To be owned or not to be owned. During the corona crisis, as usual workers take the hardest blow. At the same time, it is us who stand in the front line against this disease. Applauds of the rich feed no mouths, but the struggle of workers save lives. In many countries, a rage is rising against the plunderings of the rich of the common assets. That privatizing healthcare can be lethal is something that most workers probably agree on today, and that employment contracts without any rights create an unacceptable insecurity is apparent during this crisis. At the same time, Svensk Näringsliv demand 300 billion kroner from the taxpayers, and they continue to give shareholders profit from the gains. In the best case, this crisis will change our view of society. We must unite to make sure that the Karens dog won't come back, that the new rules for Akasan will still be valid, that healthcare workers get the status and the resources that they deserve, and that we as a society continue to put people's health before profit. And in the best case, Corona can teach us to value and celebrate those who lift everybody up, lifting society rather than themselves. Those who live will see, and those who see must fight for a better tomorrow for all.